This video will go through the general process for replacing the incline motor for Nordic Track exercise bikes and other similar models. Because of continuing product improvements, your replacement steps may not be identical to those shown. Please refer to your user's manual and any updates that came with your particular model if you have any questions about any of the steps shown here. Using a 6mm Allen wrench, loosen the two M6 by 25mm screws and the M6 crank screw, then remove the left crank arm. Next, with a standard Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four screws holding the left shield cover to the machine as shown here. Then, remove the six screws holding the right shield cover to the machine and remove both shield covers. To remove the shield covers, rotate the crank arm as shown then push the shield covers out towards the front of the machine. Once the shield covers are removed, with a 13mm wrench, unscrew the M8 by 32mm bolt that connects the incline motor to the frame. With a standard Phillips head screwdriver, remove the six screws from the upper incline motor cover and the left and right incline motor covers. With two Allen wrenches, unscrew the two M6 by 12 millimeter screws and remove the incline motor bushings and spacers. Detach the wire harness from the incline motor as shown here. Install the new incline motor with the incline motor bushings, two incline motor spacers, two M6 washers, and two M6 by 12 millimeter screws. Reattach the wire harness to the incline motor as shown here. Using a wire tie, secure the wire harness away from any moving parts of the machine. With 6 M4 by 13 mm screws, reattach the left and right incline motor cover, then reattach the upper incline motor cover. Make sure that the shaft cover and the shaft cover sleeve are on the incline motor, then attach the incline motor to the frame of the machine with the M8 by 32 millimeter bolt. Then reattach the left and right shield cover. Finally, reattach and tighten the left crank arm.
after the equipment is reassembled, inspect it to make sure that it is assembled correctly and that it functions properly. Make sure that all parts are properly tightened before you use the machine.